What's up, YouTube fam? What's up? I'm back. Oh, it feels good to be back, guys. I've been, I've been doing a lot. So, hang on. Let's pop the top because it's so sunny and beautiful outside. I gotta wear these really like Papa Roach era glasses. You know what I'm saying? Always gotta have the flav with the sunglasses. Anyways, guys. So, what have I been up to? Well, first and foremost. I didn't go to Seattle, a lot of you guys know, because a lot of the fam, once again, showed up to the pits, the BWR pits at Supercross, and they saw that your boy, London Max, was not there for good reason. After Ivan got uh, in his wreck, as you guys saw in that one video, um, basically, you know, he can't ride, he can't do anything fun. And uh, for a seven-year-old, that's extremely rough. I mean, come on, guys, let's be honest. Being seven, having that much energy, uh, he wants to go do stuff all the time. So I took one weekend. I went dirt biking with Isaac, and we put in some laps. It felt really good to get back on the bike. I act like it's been a long time. It was seriously just like a couple weeks or a few weeks or something like that in between uh, Daytona and Atlanta. But we went dirt biking, and then the following weekend, we went camping, uh, took the whole family out camping, which was super rad, because like, I love camping, I love the outdoors, I love being outdoors, and uh, doing outdoor sports, period, period. So, uh, went and did some camping, and I just decided to take a little sabbatical from YouTube. Uh, it's not for any like reasons of like, I felt stress or distress or whatever, you know, word you want to use for it I just wanted to like be able to kind of have a little vacation with the fam and not have to worry about vlogging and everything plus like I don't think you guys would truly like to see what we're doing on our vacations uh, but either way we're back at it again boys I'm headed down right now to Tyler Antic Knapp's house and we're gonna load up and go do some fishing because tomorrow our flight leaves like stupid early at the airport and LAX as usual. I mean, they never leave at like civilized people time. It's always like, why can't a flight leave at like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. or something like that? They always gotta leave at like six o'clock a.m. Either way, um, I am on my way to Tyler's house. I gotta stop and get Chew and some gasoline. Oh, which brings me to another point. So if you guys couldn't tell, I am in the project Subaru right now well project for me it wasn't a YouTube project I rebuilt the engine in this car and uh, I wanted to make like a battle wagon out of it see if I get the camera to stop shaking so I got the car pretty set up I'll show you a picture right here the car I mean for an all-wheel drive wagon still looks a little bit fruity but it runs fantastic and an all-wheel drive car is just really sick like they're so much fun so uh, i don't even know how to transition to this but i just had left it out front parked it like i always do and then some jack decided to hit my car when it was parked and run it was a hit and run and uh, he cleaned out my driver's side front fender and that just totally ticked me off. But it's not like the car was super good looking, nor is it just an attractive car in the first place. But still, it's like after I rebuild an engine in a freaking car, I'd like for it to at least look good, run good, you know, kind of like the, com the combination. But having said that, I did know kind of coming into this set because it was going to be a battle wagon. I was probably gonna put the hurting on it anyway. Had to make a little pit stop, you guys know. You already know, I'm bit by the bug. Oh, check out my custom wrap. Yee! But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, the car got freaking hit and ran by a stupid driver. Don't know if it was a him's or if it was a hers or if it was on its cell phone or it was high or it was drunk, but I just know it was stupid enough to hit my car and keep going. So, look, just watch. What the heck? Just hits it and keeps rolling for no reason at all. 
again I like I said I know it's not like some really beautiful special edition rare 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 car but it's mine Dagnabbit and I put the work in rebuilding the engine because I love Subaru engines like how they sound what they have when they have no exhaust like mine doesn't have an exhaust right now of course and I just love the sound of them it's a very distinct sound that they have and uh, it's like when you hear them coming up a road it's funny because you always think like they're they're missing a cylinder or they're down a cylinder because of like the really low B sound that they have but anyway enough blabbering let's head down to Tyler and it snaps house and uh, we're gonna load up drive down to Ventura California and we're gonna go stay at his chick Mariana's house and this guy just stopped at a green lawn bro it, you had enough time oh that's why you stopped oh now I'm that guy anyway so we're gonna go do some fishing um, Tyler is just dying for some bro time because it's always go time for him he like literally it's like can you guys imagine you fly out wednesday travel all day either wednesday or thursday get there thursday and then uh thursday is all about get, getting to the track and then starting the bike work and setup friday is then press day and then so you got to have the bike all set up again after you ride press day to race Saturday. Get there stinking early for press day. Like usually it's like five, six o'clock in the morning, like really stinking early. And then you ride press and then you have got to clean the bike again. And then after that, basically you prep the bike for racing on Saturday. And when I'm not there with Ty, he has to do that stuff himself. And luckily we've had a lot of the YouTube fam step up and help tie when he's out there and I'm not able to, to when he's not able to pay for my plane ticket or anything I've been blessed to have you guys as friends and show up hit up tie on Instagram and some of you guys been paying for his entry in the races I gotta close this uh, it's not flexing guys it's not flexing it's just nice to have but you guys been paying for his entry you've been paying like giving him sponsored donations you've been sending me sponsored donations we appreciate from the bottoms of our heart, and I cannot ever thank you guys enough. YouTube fam, you guys are gold. Without further ado, <laughs> let's go. Let's go see what Tyler Andit snaps up to, and I'm gonna try to keep my car going the speed limit while I'm driving, even though it's severely tempting to not go the speed limit. Of course, I get to his house. He's not there. After he said, all right, see you in a few. Guys like this to be your view every single day. Just wake up, grab a cup of coffee, and look at the scenery. White privilege problems. <laughs> Just did a little crunch down sesh on some beef and broccoli from Panda Express. And just waiting on that guy right there. Ooh, let's go. It's time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. The man, the myth, the legend. Time. All right, guys, we just showed up at the bait shop because we need to gear up to go fishing. Hello. Over the baits. I really like these Kaitech. Um, for you who watch Fisherman's Life on YouTube, he is a source of knowledge. But I know that these sandworms for these surf perch out here love the sandworms. But Kaitech has an all black one somewhere. I'm going to get those because those are supposed to be the magic for doing rockfish and perch. Like both love the, the black um, Kaitech sandworms. We made it to the beach. Ty's getting the poles all set up. He knows what rigs work best out here, but I gotta give you guys a short shot of the port out here. It's pretty beautiful right now. You get it, bro. You like to be loud and annoying. Check this out. We'll be fishing off the rocks out here in this port. And that's like where I live is up over that mountain still on the coast but it's a nice area yeah buddy let's go get some fish go so ty and i here 
We're gonna be doing a little competition. I'm using Powerbait brand Gulp sandworms. He is using real sandworms. I'm sure I'm gonna get the first hook up and he is also. So I'm trying not to eat crap on these rocks, but we're gonna see a little competition who gets the first hook up. You guys need to drop it down below. Who do you think is gonna get the first hook up? The power bait sandworms or the real ones? Let us know. Don't skip ahead and watch and see. Watch, both of us aren't gonna get hookups now. Dang it. Dang it. On the live sandworm. Got me first. Dang. That's three for Tyler, zero for me. I think I'm gonna switch to live bait. Whoever picked live bait, you guys know. It's a beautiful day at least. It's not all like windy and nasty and it's like sunny. Beautiful California day. So, so far Ty's got two, I got one. But he got off so I guess that's not even one. But I went back to, or but I went over to Regular sandworms, live sandworms. They seem to like that a little bit better. Yeah. So I wish I can come on and tell you guys I've just been slaying it this whole time. But it's now 4.15 and we're waiting till four, even though we're out here about like three. So it's like literally an hour later and all of a sudden it just stopped. No bites or anything. It's beautiful though. Why you a-holes. Mariana's here now, came to join us. Ty gave me crap about snagging up one time. He's done like three times since, so. Yeah, like I said guys, the fishing might be bad, but the weather's great, so. I'll take it, you know, it's nice. Anyways, come on fish, come bite my line. Oh, is he still on? It looks like it might be kind of big. Wait for him to surface, see what he got. I hope it's a bass, sea bass. Trying to walk through these rocks and not get murdered. Oh, dude, I see white. Dude, that's like the biggest perch I've seen. What is it? A gordita? Like from Taco Bell? Dang. That's some eating, bro. It's a lunch. Lunch ticket. Uh oh. 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 Cheese and rice. Come to the left right here. 
Left, yeah, that left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flick her up. Flick them up. Flick Just bring them up the rocks. Drag them straight up the rocks. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Right there. I know. Keep bringing them. Come here. Bring it over here. And he really bring it over right here. Then it's another Gortita. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the fake worm. Hold okay, it. Hey, Rose is right there. I thought I lost it out there. Dinner. Yeah, Mariana. A modern one. Plus one. You're gonna have to walk down for that pig. Whoa! Oh. I'm getting hits. I might need to put the phone down. Oh, bring in that pig. Oh, dude, that thing's huge! For a striped perch, that thing's big. You're clear. Pick it up. Look at that pig! <laughs> Holy mackerel! What? Okay, so you guys who voted that the the uh, real worms are gonna work best. This well, is not a real worm. You were right. <laughs> Dang, dude, that's gotta be the biggest striped perch I've ever seen. Dang. All right, my turn. Yeah. Another one. Thank you, boy. Well, ladies and gents, that concludes fishing for today. Tyler was the fish master slayer. He caught like five. Or something crazy maybe even six <sighs> I only caught a few it's all right catching fish or not still better than working what's up guys obviously it's the next morning had a good night's rest it was short-lived we had to get up at like 4.30 or something stupid, but gotta get used to that. Because, what were you saying tomorrow we gotta get up when? Uh, we have a uh, press at 4.45. Press at, so he's gotta ride a dirt bike at 4.45 tomorrow. So, we need to get up like three something. So this is just a warm up. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go get ready, fly out to Texas, let's go. And magically, just like that, we are in Houston, Texas, guys. Uh, slept through the whole flight, which was nice. It's always nice to sleep through the whole flight. So we're picking up the rental car now. We're gonna go get something to eat, head over to the track, see what's up. All right, guys, so before I continue the day's shenanigans, I wanted to stop for a second, tip my hat, and give a big, big thank you to Keith Terrier. He's been one of the YouTube fam since day one. He's one of the first subscribers that really uh, stuck out, always had positive vibes, great comments, and he's helped Tyler out immensely. Tremendously. And Keith, Special thank you goes out to you right now, dog. We appreciate you all the way over to Japan. I think you're at or China. You're over there somewhere, but I really appreciate you, guy. Uh, we're thinking about you. We're gonna send it. Win, lose, draw. We're gonna put it in this weekend. We appreciate you, guy. Let's go. It's about to go down.
All right, boys and girls, we are at probably the biggest mall I've ever been. Eh, Ontario Mills is pretty big, but we're here in Houston, and we're at the Galleria Mall, going through Saks Fifth Avenue, just playing around doing some shopping, having a good time, getting ourselves into trouble. Came into the I want the one that says Yacht Club. <laughs> I want, the, I want the one that says little Yachty. No, it says like Yacht Masters or something. Dang, dude. So the most expensive dude, one here is those are grand. beautiful watches. Oh, yeah. All right, I wouldn't want to wear it, dude. I'd just destroy it. Yeah, you gotta. It, this is business only. I, I gotta stick with G-Shock, bro. You know what I mean? I gotta stick with my Garmin, getting my heart rate while I'm. You know what I mean? Like get your steps in. Yeah. Pussy. Who are you? Solo Dolo. <laughs> Solo Dolo. Oh my god. Dang. Monogram wardrobe from 1923. This is my look. That's you. You found you. This is my look. You found you. Babe, if you're watching this vlog, can you get me these? For real. I, my birthday's coming up. I want the the white, the all white with the gold on top right here. Oh, jeez. These are uh, these are album cover worthy right here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> X31s or 32s right there, bro. Hey, bro. Huh? Track walk tread, bro. Track I mean, walk tread. they're obviously not Adidas, so they ain't that hot. But oh my gosh, those are sand. Sand tread. Track walk tread. Those sand pedals. Track walk tread. This is more of like a hard pack track walk tread. You know That's what I mean? something Ein Führer would wear. Yeah, yeah, this is like, this is more of like a mud, you know, Daddy. mud. MX left 11. field, bro. MX-11. Left field. Yeah, yeah, this is more of a mud, you know, type of one. And then we have the more hard packed, you know, so. <laughs> dual compound. Yeah, dual compound. Yeah. Track walk shoes. Louis Vuitton, check it out. We in Gucci now. Yes. Oh, what? I like the yellow. On the inside and the cat no that's more like a tiger see that's what i'm saying wow. you need a wallet like this <laughs> you need a wallet like this <laughs> be like all yeah. right, all right. Up to, uh, how they look though oh, man hey i ain't never seen game of thrones but these is sick. the new game of thrones ultra boost for a ray let's go so get it perfectly centered first No, too low. Oh. Too low, too low. Yeah, I let go a little late. No, too soon again. Like same spot. All right, guys. So, just sitting down, getting my dinner in me. Uh, but I wanted to thank all you guys for tuning in today. Uh, it's been a nice trip down here to Florida or Florida, Texas. I don't even know where I'm at. Uh, look forward to seeing a lot of you guys tomorrow or. Actually, tomorrow's just press, but Saturday. So I'm going to get this video uploaded tonight so you guys can watch it Friday. Have a great night, guys. Love every single one of you. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out for now, and I'll see you this weekend.